According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, in a 2011 UN-published report, Jamaica has one of the highest levels of fish consumption per capita in the Americas, with 30.6 kilograms of raw fish weight per annum. A substantial portion of the over 80% of marine fish consumed in Jamaica is, however, imported. The National Fisheries Authority is therefore focusing on tilapia production and marketing to meet the growing local appetite for fish. This has become necessary, especially due to the decline in coral reef fish stocks, the increasing demand for seafood, coupled with the huge untapped local market for tilapia, providing a perfect opportunity to increase import substitution. Tilapia is very important to the Jamaica food security strategy. For one, it's a priority under the National Fisheries Authority as to increase food and nutritional security. There are a lot of agricultural lands available that are capable of having fish ponds on it. There's also other government agencies who are looking to collaborate with to be creating aquaculture parks where we'll be having multiple ponds where persons can come on to grow their fish there where we'll have the setups. We are teaching our farmers to do this as a business, to do it technically sound, to use the technical advice that the NFA will provide for them so that they will be able to become more profitable, where the grow times will be shorter, where the quality of the fish will be better, where the consumer will be happier. Getting started in fish farming, it's as easy as ABC. Persons first need to get in contact with the National Fisheries Authority. Then, someone from our office will actually come, speak to the person, make arrangement to come and visit the location, and then we'll do what we call a site evaluation. Your next step is to get registered with the National Fisheries Authority. Registration process is easy. You call our office, also someone will come and verify that you are a farmer and you would need some, some items such as a government issued ID, two passport size pictures certified by a JP, fill out the application form and only $600. The local industry is regulated and supported by the government to ensure quality standards. Farmers will have to maintain their water quality where possibly they can get it um, assessed if needed. If you are feeding your tilapia according to stocking density, making sure that they're getting the right quantity of feed, then it reduces the risk of you overfeeding the pond. And feed that is not eaten by the fish will then stay in the pond and become rotted. That will, of course, disrupt your water quality. This is the algae that they will feed on that will permeate through their system and causes the flesh to taste like mud. Depending on the size of the pond, so if it's a one-acre pond, well, that one acre pond can stock anywhere between 10 to 15,000 advanced fries. And those normally take six months to reach maturity. If you live on your farm, it can be extremely profitable. You can make 50% on your, on your investment in every crop. We look for ponds that are not aerated, not artificially aerated. We look for about 4,000 pounds per acre per crop. And ponds that are aerated, we look for between six five to eight thousand pounds per acre you have to maintain the best water quality possible especially as you approach harvest time a lot of people in jamaica don't really fully know about tilapia i introduce it to a lot of people and some of them are my best customers now and before that they never know much about tilapia Aquaculture, especially that of tilapia, can fill the gap in the health-conscious demand for quality seafood products. Its firm texture and mild flavor makes it ideal for a variety of cooking methods. Tilapia also offers several attractive benefits for the householder and food service providers. Its high appeal and high profit as a center of the plate item. Menu versatility, as tilapia works well with many different flavor profiles. The fact that it is low in calorie and fat for healthy menu applications. It is free of saturated fats, high in omega-3 fatty acids, a good source of protein for weight management, a natural fish which originated in Africa. You can have tilapia taste whatever way you want it to taste. If we get more Jamaicans supporting this and, um, and buying product Jamaica, that's really what it is. 
because it's grown and produced here. Uh, it, can do, it can do wonders for the economy. And while the appetite for tilapia is big at home, this versatile product is increasing in popularity in North America and Europe, providing lucrative export potential.